I have the ultimate thing of what could happen this offseason. Because did you see Tim's tweet about throw d- threw Darnold to the curb? <laughs> yeah. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tim talked about the bomb squad for years. How the Jets have the best receiving core in the league with Mims and Perriman and Crowder and Herndon. Like who could be better than that? <laughs> that was his take. And then last year, in the past two years, when Darnold wasn't very good, you know, the, the receivers weren't all that good to begin with. Yeah. But now, as it turns out, that with, you know, Broadway Zach, as he's already <laughs> calling him, look at that receiving core he has to throw to. It turns out that it was Darnold who sucked the entire yeah. time, and the receivers were really good. So best case scenario in my mind is Tua falters, but the backup in Miami is Sam Darnold. And then Sam Darnold takes over in Miami, and Darnold is great for Miami, and Gus <laughs> loses his mind. How does Tua get to? How does Darnold get to Miami? Because they're gonna cut Darnold, aren't they? No, they'll trade him. For what? Second, third rounder? No, no, no. Trade him. He has a year left on a deal. Yeah. I mean, Miami just traded a second for Rosen. The two funny years thing ago. is, is now that the 49ers are set up. I mean, oh, will who will get more in a trade? Rosen or Darnold? Because Rosen already got the second rounder. I'm trying to think. The teams that could be in play for Darnold. Chicago should be getting Darnold or Pittsburgh should be Darnold, getting Darnold. Denver. Sorry, Darnold. Denver? New England? I would say Darnold possibilities right now. Denver, New England, Pittsburgh, Chicago. Chicago. I think would be the th- four big ones yeah, on my list. Indy's taken care of. Yeah, a lot. San Fran's taken care of. Indy's taken care of. Is Indy taken care of? How much do you try? I, I don't know what to think but of they're Wentz. they're not going to no, be they're in not the gonna, Darnold market. Fair enough. But what? But of, the Darnold market is what? You trade for him. He's on a year deal, like whatever he has left. Then you, if he's really, if he Good, lives you up. you resign him? The, the Darnold argument is you had a GM, you're G, a GM who had such a high draft grade on him like a lot of people. And you would want him to come in, show what he's got, and you'd even bring him in on a one-year tag if he's, like, really good back. And then you kick the ball down from there. I don't know. Who else would be on that list? You said Pittsburgh? Yeah, I said Pittsburgh. I think Pittsburgh is in... Washington. Yeah, Washington. Vegas. I mean, they could make that decision, sure. Well, it just seems like Carr is a placeholder until they find the guy that they actually want now. Because there's always rumors about everything, like, oh, you could... Like whenever you hear about any quarterback in the mix, like Vegas is always like an outside team. It seems like they don't want Derek Carr to be their quarterback, but he's too good to kick to the curb for nobody, but he's not good enough to win you a Super Bowl. Yeah. He's one of those guys. But it also now looks like... But, and I don't think that Darnold's great either, but I'm just... There's still a perception amongst a certain segment of people that Darnold is really good. I don't buy it. But, like, you're still in the tank. I think I'm looking forward to his second opportunity because there are throws on tape that are, are wow. There They are. And I know the whole Darnold the camp. One, are they the ones to his team or the other team? No, and I know a lot was made this week because, like, people are going gaga over some Wilson pro day tape, and they're like, look, Sam Darnold makes. Who yeah. has bad pro day tape? <laughs> I, I, I have to ask. I don't know. It's like you can go to the combine and suck. If you're bad at your pro day, like, they don't release the footage. I guess, but the the scouts are there. The one thing, like the draft's a month from the moment we're talking. The word around town is like five quarterbacks in the top five. Like top five picks. Is that actually going to happen? It's setting up to happen, although I think the Dolphins getting to six will make the Bengals nervous to move. 